In our last video, we learned about like terms and unlike terms. In this video tutorial, let's discuss monomials, binomials, trinomials, and polynomials. And we will use the concept of like terms and unlike terms. Those of you who haven't watched that video tutorial, for them, I'll put the video link in the description box below. Please watch that video and then watch this so that you can understand better. So, what are monomials? Well, any algebraic expression that contains that contains only one term, only one term, that will be monomial. So, if I say that our algebraic expression is minus 2xy, is this a monomial? Yes, this is a monomial because this is an algebraic expression that contains only one term. What about minus 2x square y square? Yes, this is also a monomial because it contains only one um, term. So, can we say that number, let's say any number, let's say number 7. Is this a monomial? Some of you will say that, you know what? In fact, most of you will say that number 7 is a natural number or a whole number and since it doesn't contain any variable because we have learned that in an algebraic expression we have variable or variables. Here we don't have any variable therefore 7 is not an algebraic expression therefore it cannot be a monomial. Well, when you will know further study and when you will learn about exponents there you learn one concept that if any variable, let's say any a variable x is raised to the power 0, then that actually is 1. Even let's say variable y raised to the power 0, that is actually 1. If it is x raised to power 2, this is x times x, right? If it is x raised to the power 3, this is x times x times x but if it is x raised to the power 0 it is actually 1 and therefore this number 7 can be written as 7 times 1 right because 7 times 1 is what 7 only and if we replace this 7 uh, with this 1 with x raised to the power 0 it means you can see that this is now x 7 times x raised to the power 0 now this has one variable and therefore now it is an algebraic expression and therefore since it contains only one term it is monomial right so in this way any natural number will be a monomial right now what about 0 0.0068 let's say this is a decimal number is this a monomial yes even this can be written as 0 0.0068 times 1, 0 0.0068 times, replace this one with x, or let's say this time take another variable, let's say z is power 0, this becomes 0 0.0068 z raised to power 0. It contains an a variable therefore this is an algebraic expression and it is a monomial because it's only one term here right so this is about monomial what about this one is this a monomial uh, 10x squared y squared minus 5x squared y squared is this a monomial you will say that hey you know this is an algebraic expression and it contains actually two terms. It actually contains two terms. But here's the thing. If you look at these two terms, 10x squared y squared and 5x squared y squared. In fact, this is minus 5x squared y squared. The second term is minus 5x squared y squared. These two terms are actually like terms. Why? Here it is x squared y squared. And here also it is x squared y squared. The, this makes it two like terms and these two like terms will add up, right? So you can imagine this, uh, I mean you can write this as x 10 
x squared y squared plus minus 5x squared y squared and we have discussed in our previous videos that this uh, like terms always add up so if you add 10 plus minus 5 then this is what actually this becomes 5 so this is 5x squared y squared therefore since it has two terms but since both these two terms are like terms they will add up and they will be simplified in the form of a monomial therefore this is not a binomial this is a monomial now since i have used the term binomial let's discuss that binomial means that an algebraic expression that contains only two unlike terms only two unlike terms unlike is very important so that will be a binomial or binomials the plural form what does that mean it means if like in this example here it was 10 x squared y squared minus 5 x squared y squared if you will not notice that these are actually like terms then you can you know wrongly say that these are actually binomial this algebraic expression is binomial but as you said these two like terms if you simplify it this becomes 5x squared y squared that is a monomial but if it had been let's say this 10x squared y squared minus 5x squared y. Now are these two like terms? No. This can be written as 10x squared y squared plus minus 5x squared y. This is, these two terms are not like terms because here it is x squared y squared. Here it is only x squared y, right? That makes it these two unlike terms. So two unlike terms cannot add up, right? So there's no point that you can further simplify it. These two unlike terms make this algebraic expression, this one, a binomial. Because we said that if your algebraic expression contains only two unlike terms, there should not be more than two terms and both the two terms should be unlike, right? So only two terms and they should be unlike this is this makes it binomial what about this one what about this one um, 5 a b minus 10 a squared b squared minus 10 a b what about this one is this a binomial or what you will say that hey here we have three terms therefore this is not binomial well again you have to remember the concept of unlike and like terms this is 5ab and this is minus 10ab right this term is minus 10ab because you can write this as 5ab plus within the bracket minus 10a squared b squared and plus minus 10 a b so the first term is 5 a b and this third term is minus 10 a b these two are like terms because here we have a b here also we have a b right exact variables and the same number of variables so these two are actually like terms so these two like terms will add up minus 10 plus 5 will become what 5 a b plus and this is minus 10 a squared b squared yes these two are this expression is actually a binomial because on simplifying it if you add two like terms this finally contains exactly two terms that are unlike because here we have a b and here we have a squared b squared making them two unlike terms that is why this is a binomial right now if we have discussed about binomial let's discuss about trinomial and it's you know the pattern is same that it should contain only three terms only three terms and all should be 
unlike terms, right? That means if we take an example, let's say 4a squared b squared minus 5ab uh, plus 6ab minus 4. If you look at this example expression, this can be written as 4a squared b squared plus minus 5ab plus 6ab and plus minus 4. These two terms minus 5ab and 6ab are actually like terms. Like terms means that they should contain same variables that a and b and same number of variables. a is 1 and b is also 1. So you add these up. So this becomes 4a squared b squared plus a b and minus 4. Now you can clearly see here, here you have only three terms, first condition gets satisfied and all are unlike terms because this is a constant, right? A constant cannot contain any variable, right? So even if you write this in the form of a raised to the power 0, still here you have a squared b squared, here it is a b and here it is a raised to the power 0, it's not the same, right? So you have exactly three terms and all the three terms are unlike terms. Now what about this one? What about this one? That is, just simply add to this one exactly, I mean in this, this is 4a squared b squared minus 5ab plus 6ab and minus 7abc minus 4. Now what about this one? In this example, again we can write this as 4 squared b squared. We have simply added minus 7abc to this one. Plus minus 5ab plus 6ab and minus 7abc minus, sorry, within the bracket minus. Reason that we put within the bracket is so that when you think of the terms, when you are mentioning the terms, you should not forget this minus sign because always remember terms add up to make expressions. Minus 7abc and plus minus 4. These two are like terms as we have discussed above and therefore this becomes 4a squared b squared plus ab minus 7abc or oh, let's write it in the bracket 7abc and plus minus 4. If you open the bracket this becomes both becomes minus. So again here you have four terms here you have a squared b squared here, here you have a b here you have a b c and here it's just a constant. You have four terms now the, you have four terms that is why it becomes what it becomes polynomials sorry it is not a trinomial anymore it's not a trinomial so what should it be called it will be called a polynomial a polynomial so we learned about monomial binomial trinomial and now this polynomial now here is one important thing, most students make mistake that they think that polynomials mean, polynomials mean, polynomials mean that you should have more than three, more than three terms. You should have more than three terms, right? Well, that's not correct actually. Even a monomial is a polynomial. A binomial is a pino, uh, polynomial. And a trinomial is also a polynomial. So it's not that when you, your algebraic expression contains more than three terms, 
then th at that time you will call it polynomials but the uh, fact is that if it is monomial even then it is polynomial if it's a binomial even then it's a polynomial if it's a trinomial even then it's a uh, trinomial uh, polynomial so polynomial means that you should have one or more than one terms more than one terms if you have a, an algebraic expression any algebraic expression is actually a polynomial right so if your algebraic expression is uh, whether it is monomial or binomial or trinomial or it has four terms or thousand terms or ten lakh terms it doesn't matter if it is an algebraic expression then that is a polynomial so this is very important thing and you should keep this in mind and never think that if your algebraic expression is monomial then it is not a polynomial or only when your algebraic expression contains more than four terms then that is polynomial that's wrong